What's going on? Steve Rott here with the Bass Hang, and I'm bringing you kind of an impromptu video. I just posted uh, a day or two ago a video featuring the Bergantino HG312 cabinet, and that is powered by the Bergantino Forte HP. So what I did is I did a video where I mic'd it up, mic'd up the cabinet with a Sennheiser E906, Posted it, I featured a couple of different bases. Um, I think one dropped yesterday, the other one will drop this weekend, I got a couple more. But, I got some comments and some questions about this fantastic USA GNL M2500. I am a huge fan of the M series GNL bases. I think they're kind of the unsung hero. They are, to me, they are an updated version of a Ken Smith for a couple of reasons. Well, I have a 1990 Ken Smith, which is fantastic. I love it. Those bases were neck through. The GNLs are bolt on. So I kind of think that the GNLs have a little bit more of that mid range punch, which I like. Although my Ken Smith is amazing, also. I love that base. But this is kind of an updated version that can be used kind of across the board with different music styles. Um, and you'll hear this fretless. I am just in love with this thing. It's really fantastic. Uh, the other reason is that they're humbuckers, humbucking pickups, just like the Ken Smiths were, and they're set back a little bit further. The Ken Smiths have the pickups really, really close to the bridge, or the, the, the bridge pickup is really close to the, to the bridge. These are a little further back. So this bass features an ebony unlined fingerboard. It is a five string. It has all, it's all GNL electronics, has the three band preamp, which we'll go through. It has pickup panning, the two humbuckers, and the GNL saddle lock bridge that is 17.5 millimeter spacing. I prefer 19 millimeter, but I have gotten really, really used to 17.5 millimeter. I really like it. On fretless, it makes stuff a little easier to kind of get around. I, I really dig it. Has a maple neck, an ash body, six volt, 18 volt preamp. So there's that. Those are the particulars of the GNL M2500. Again, the reason I am doing this video is I had some really cool comments. Um, first of all, Greg Pentalides, which I hope, or Pentalides, I'm not really sure. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, he had a question about my fretting hand. Let me see here. Let me video. Your left hand technique. Fingers are always. Um, so hold on one second. My thumb. When I'm playing, the further up the neck I go, whether it's on fretted or fretless, when it's lower, it stays, it always is in the middle of the back of the neck, okay? But the further up I go in the neck, the farther it kind of stays behind, stays down the neck, if that makes sense. So if I'm playing something, like if I'm only gonna turn it around, so check this out. I'm at the 12th fret here with my first finger, and my thumb is still in the middle of the neck, relatively close to there, but it has moved back, if you see that. If I'm playing here, so if I'm playing here, it's kind of behind my middle finger. So it's always in the middle of the back of the neck, and the further I go up, the farther it stays down. Okay, I hope that helps, and I really appreciate the comments, um, Greg. Um, and then the other one is Nick P. Love my M2500 and I want to get a fretless one next. So perfect timing. How about a longer demo? Would love to hear pickup solo also. So I'm gonna do that. Thanks Nick for the inspiration to do this video. Uh, big shout out to my buddy Ivan Bassist. Ivan Carranza, he is an incredible bassist. Check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he's in Germany and he does a lot of killer videos and he's just an awesome guy. So again, thanks again for, um, for the great response on that video and I will put a link at the end of this one. So here is flat. Now I'm gonna keep everything flat, all the EQ, and I'm panning all the way to the bridge pickup. Right?
Neck pickup. It just has this P bass quality to it. That's all the way neck, all the way bridge. So now let's mix in some EQ. Or actually, before I do that, one of my favorite settings is panning to the bridge pickup a little bit. Stay pan to the bridge pickup a little bit, and I'm gonna kick up kick up those mids a little bit too. And then I'm gonna boost up some of the bass. setting is either flat with the mids boosted and the bass boosted a little bit or panned a little bit to the bridge. And then you're flat. articulation even with the EQ flat and then the bass boost and then the mid range so now let's pan to the neck pickup all the way and I'm going to boost the bass and cut the mids a little bit kind of more tubby sound, kind of uprighty sound, you can do that. That neck pickup is really nice. But again, that neck pickup all by itself. A nice P bass kind of thing. I dig that. The other thing I like about this bass, which I might catch some crap for, but I don't care, I can turn the bass up and the treble up a little bit and check this out. It sounds really good. So this is just a fantastic all-around instrument that will definitely fit in any musical style. It's just fantastic. The three-band EQ is killer. You can boost and cut the mids, the lows, the highs. You can pan the pickups, and it's just really killer, and it's so well made, and I think you can get that. You can go from... You can get that really nice woody sound, too. sound and those that was all flat there and then you can add or subtract any of that EQ so anyways I hope you like that little impromptu demo video uh, again this is Steve Araujo with the bass hang and just wishing everybody just stay safe out there stay healthy and in these trying crazy times just um, be nice and kind to each other and we'll all get through this so till next time Steve Araujo with the bass hang GNL USA M2500 fretless just a rad beast of a bass. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.